Hey brothers and sisters, today is December 17th, 2022. And um, I'm going to reshare this dream that I had. It was a little over three years ago, I think. Um, it was a very layered prophetic dream from the Lord. And uh, it seems like it's part of it is starting to unfold. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, replay this entire dream and then I'm going to share some other things with you guys so here we go hello brothers and sisters today is June 6 2019 yesterday while taking a nap with my son I had a very powerful dream from the Lord and I woke up pouring sweat I'm not certain how to break all of this down at this point, but I know by the Holy Spirit, it is a serious warning to this world. So I'm just going to share it as is. So here it is. My parents, whose names are Russ and Mary, Russ meaning reddish, blonde, and is also a nickname for Russian. Russian. Mary, meaning beloved, myrrh, to be rebellious, bitter, or strong. So, my parents were going to pick up my friend Brad from the airport. Brad, meaning broad clearing in the wood. And they were supposed to be driving him to our house so he could go to a concert with me. And in the dream, I knew it was my birthday. The name of the band that my friend Brad and I were going to see on my birthday was Widespread Panic. And just to let you all know, my friend Brad, a couple of years ago, got into some heavy-duty drugs, and I led him to Christ after reading him the parable of the prodigal son. Well... Even so, about a month or so later, he hung himself on a fence. But I know he's with the Lord. So, I believe in this dream, my friend Brad represented the dead in Christ. So, my parents got home, and Brad was not with them. And I was very upset by this. And I asked my parents, where was Brad? And they said that they had dropped him off at Yellowstone Park at the camp. Yellowstone Park. Russia, Yellowstone Park. Remember that. Ground. And I was very upset with them when they told me this. And then all of a sudden, my friend Brad, who represents the dead in Christ, was suddenly at my house. And then I was asking my parents, where was the concert of widespread panic going to be at? And I knew in the dream that the tickets to the concert were already paid for in advance. They said it was somewhere in Altamont. And Altamont means, in Spanish, high hill. But they still weren't sure exactly where in Altamont it was. And I was trying to go online and figure out where this concert of widespread panic was. Then I saw my parents lying in their bed and the room was very dark. And I knew in the dream that they had just gotten back from a trip to Virginia and they were completely exhausted. Then my friend Brad and I were hanging out in my room with my son Skylar. And Skylar absolutely loved Brad. Skylar was touching Brad's face and smiling at him. And Brad absolutely adored Skylar and was touching Skylar's face also and smiling at him. There was also a little girl there with us, just a little older than Skylar, and she had long, darker blonde hair. 
Then suddenly, Brad and I were outside of a grand opening to a restaurant that in the dream I knew was called Kobe's. And Kobe means door. And the city of Kobe was built around a shrine which opened the doors to Japanese gods. Brad and I were farther away from all of the people who were gathered together to watch this grand opening of this restaurant. We were watching from a distance and saw two young Asian women. They both had dresses on, and as we were watching them, they suddenly started walking on their hands towards a door. And their dresses, although they were upside down, did not move at all. I believe that the Lord is saying that this world is about to be upside down. And that many will gather around the deception that's coming. And that doors from the enemy will be opening upon this earth, deceiving many to go through the wrong door. Jesus is the true door. He is the only way, truth, and light. And no one comes to the Father except through him. Keep your eyes and hearts on Jesus, brothers and sisters. The time truly is at hand. And I believe that when the widespread panic happens, that is when we will be caught up to be with Jesus and the dead in Christ. And our new birth will begin. And he will make all things new. And thus, we shall forever be with the Lord. Hold fast, brothers and sisters, and let no man take your crown. God bless you all. I love you. Jesus is coming just in time. So, the dead in Christ and me were going to a concert called Widespread Panic. And I knew it was my birthday which I believe represents the rapture, our new birth. Concert is not just represent a musical, like band or something. Um, it also can mean to arrange or settle by mutual understanding, to contrive or plan together, devise. A mutual agreement, concord, harmony of action. And I believe that's what the meaning of is in this dream, is that. So remember at the beginning of the dream, my parents were there. My dad's name is Russ. Russell could also be a nickname for Russia. And they were picking up my friend Brad, the dead in Christ, from the airport. But then they, kept, they got back and Brad was not with them. And I said, where's Brad? And they said, oh, we dropped him off at Yellowstone Park. And I was like, what? And um, I was really upset. But then all of a sudden, he was with me. And Skylar and that little girl. And um, we were reunited. So I believe that part right there represents the rapture. And... So this just, I guess, this just came out. Russia talks target Yellowstone National Park and its super volcano. And I don't know if this is really going to happen or not, okay? But I just really felt led to reshare that dream in this article. Um, and I'll leave the link for this below. So I guess, yeah, the Russia is talking about targeting Yellowstone National Park. It's super volcano. And in the dream, as soon as my parents said they dropped Brad off at Yellowstone Park, I was like, what? And then poof, all of a sudden he was with me and that was the rapture. I know that represented the rapture. And um, it's just kind of interesting. So I don't know if this is actually gonna happen or not, but it could just be a time marker 
that when this right here is brought up with Russia and Yellowstone National Park, maybe this is just a, a time marker to the nearness of the rapture, which could mean that it's about to happen any moment now because this just came out. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. And um, like I said, I don't know if this is really going to happen or not, but I'm not worried about it because of that dream. And I just, I know that that's when the rapture happened, as soon as Yellowstone Park was brought up, which it was just now brought up by Russia. And my father's name in the dream was, represents Russia, so... Anyway, just wanted to share this again. I've shared it several times throughout the years. And um, so don't be afraid. Just look at Jesus. He has us. He goes before us. And our door is about to open. And we're about to go through it. So just look at Jesus. Let's trust him. Because he will come just in time. But I do believe that when we fly out of here, something big's going to be happening at the same time. Just from things he's been showing me. And also the word harpazo means to snatch out of harm's way by force. So that's kind of like in, a, a nick, in the nick of time kind of rescue. So um, just wanted to share that again with you guys. I hope it encourages you to not be in fear. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Not too long. Hold fast. Love you guys. Happy Hanukkah.